Honda begins first production of SUVs in Indiana with 2017 CRV demonstrates Honda's flexibility to build cars and light trucks on same line Honda Manufacturing of Indiana is second U.S. plan to build CRV Greensburg, in USA, February 15, 2017, Associates at Honda Manufacturing of Indiana, LLC, Min. Today celebrated the start of production of the all-new 2017 Honda CR-V, the first SUV built at the plant since it began production in 2008. With the move, Min now builds Honda's two best-selling vehicles of 2016, Civic and CR-V. In March 2016, Min announced new investment of $52 million in the creation of 100 new jobs to support the production startup of the Honda CR-V. As Honda invested in its capability to meet growing demand for its light truck models, men's production of the CRV was transitioned from the Honda de Mexico HDM, plant in Guadalajara. Honda also builds the CRV at its East Liberty, Ohio auto plant and at a Honda plant in Alliston, Ontario, Canada. We are leveraging the manufacturing flexibility of our experienced Indiana associates to meet the needs of our customers, said Bob Nelson. President of Honda Manufacturing of Indiana. With the CRV and Civic, we are really proud to build two of America's best selling vehicles in Indiana. On sale now at dealerships across North America, the redesigned and re engineered 2017 CRV is the fifth generation of Honda's immensely popular five passenger compact SUV, the best selling SUV in America over the past 20 years with cumulative U.S. sales of nearly 4 million units since the model's introduction in 1997. Min will continue to produce the Honda Civic sedan, giving it both the top retail-selling compact car in America and the outright best-selling SUV. This is not the first time Min has demonstrated the flexibility to manufacture multiple vehicles. From April 2012 to November 2014, the plant was the exclusive home to the Acura ILX, a vehicle that was transferred to Honda of America MFG. In Marysville, Ohio, in 2015, Min also previously produced the Civic Natural Gas, at the time, the only mass-produced natural gas passenger car in America.